Hi, Internet Tier 30 here, and welcome back to some more Sphere SMP. So, probably wondering why I have seven mushrooms and a golden apple and splash for weakness and rail and a minecart. That is not. Oh, by the way, I made the silent spy, not on Skype, but on the server. So, um, first of all, I want to say that the dragon is dead. I will be, um, releasing that video soon. I just want to make sure that it's fully edited before I release it. And this one will be easier to edit than the other one. So, I'm going to release this one first. So, the whole commotion is that I have cured my first zombie villager on the server and I think that it has some pretty good trades. I'm not going to need to make sure that nothing is around here because if a creeper came up here, wow. That I I don't know. So you see? Pretty good trades. I'm not I'm just cycling over them just so you can get a, a perspective on it. So, um I just wanna also say that the silent spy, let me use their um Silent Spy's villagers. In case I wanted them, so thanks to Silent Spy. And I actually have a ton of hay bales. So I'm going to do those trades. And also, I believe in 1.8, trades never really like they can be they can be crossed out, but like you wait five seconds and they'll be available again. So that is great news for traders, not traders, traders. So I'm going to get as many emeralds as I can and also I really want to find a villager that will give me just a diamond pickaxe, like just no enchantments on it, just a diamond pickaxe. Because then I could really, I could really profit off of it. Still, the Silent Spy has. I'm, but the thing is, I'm not. I'm not going to profit off the Silent Spy's villagers. That would be only trading off of it. So, for my personal use only. I mean, me and Silent Spy didn't have an agreement or anything, but I think that that's only fair. That I should only profit off of my villagers. I can still use Silent Spy's villagers, but I won't like. For example, there was a diamond sword with knockback one, and like to say, okay, now I got solid diamond sword with knockback one, that kind of thing. So, um, yeah. Well, let me first show you how many emeralds I have. Just from, well, I have a trade, on that villager I had to trade coal for emeralds and iron for emeralds. So I have 27 emeralds, I got a diamond chest blade first. Now, I would have traded for another one, but just in case I find a better trade, I don't want to spend all my emeralds on Diamond Chest Plays with Blast Protection 1. That was not enchanted by me. It comes with Blast Protection 1. Which I think is like, it's a little bit more balanced because if it's Blast Protection, you cannot, you can on, not only not um, enchant it again, but you also can't. You also can't anvil any um, any protection enchantments on it because it already got blast protection. So I am going to well uh, is it okay if I show villager location on Camera. Because if it isn't, I will cut the recording and trade, and then I'll be back. Alright, so, the... Get the spider quickly. Oh, great, there's another spider. Let me dispense of this one, then. And I, my cat is right near here, so if you hear some meowing, I'm sorry, but maybe not, maybe not, no having a problem. Escapes.
Oh, okay. Well, I had no idea what the silent spy was talking about. This is the one. Gotta, oh wow, I, my inventory is so filled up of stuff. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so. Wait a few seconds, and should. That's only because. Okay. Yep, see? Trade is back up online. So I can just keep trading wheat. Uh, can I drop? Oh, I just even got the bone. <laughs> it's gonna be so weird though having this on by the bone in his. Shouldn't I should craft I should craft the stuff. So okay, so breeding villagers is different at 1.8 apparently. Wait a second. The trade is not really itself. Oh no, I'm pumpkin spread. I'm all I can do that too. Oh, I thought it was two pumpkin pie for demo. I can do that so much. That would have been awesome. Well, I guess I'm not making pumpkin pie anymore. Oh, that's melon. That's not pumpkins. Oh, I gotta. I have to trade, like, demo for bread or something. I gotta dump some stuff. Ah, uh, scram, I don't Any of this, pretty much. I... String. Really good, no. Okay. Now... That should renew all of the trades. Like, everything. Hmm. Well, I just waited an emerald on four bread, but that's, that's alright. Hmm. Do I have to... <laughs> it's not. I had a trigger, not unlocking. I mean, in my villager, 
Those trades will not. Oh, oh, I think that did. I think that did. I think that. I think that. There we go. Okay, now it should. Yep. If I had a pro, I would probably get that axe too. But... Oh, it's got you. Yeah, and I don't really know much of, like, I thought you used to know the mechanics. Like, sometimes the trade just gets renewed automatically, sometimes it doesn't. Well, Simon Spies on Skype right now. Oh, that's what's going on. Oh, wait. What? There is an emerald there. How am I going to get here? Sounds fine, there's an emerald down there! I don't want it to despawn. Okay, I am back and Sans Pi left and I got 24 emeralds. I think that's pretty good for just trading wheat. So and I didn't even trade all of it. So, um I think I'll end the episode here. Um probably maybe a short episode, sorry about that, but I will get to longer episodes in the future. Just wanted to make sure you knew like all the villager stuff and everything. So, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next episode.